gives to him hallelujah that the spirit of god gives to you holy 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 is the lord god almighty hallelujah thank you thank you lord rabararara garabara sandara bara hokara manana nari rabara sondara rari rabara rari andre hokara barara rari rabara rara hokara barara rari rabara rari andre how do you sing to him in tongues hallelujah try 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 halana manana nari namana rara rara it might not be perfect but it's all right to sing to the lord in tongues rabara shandara barari rabara rarororororore andre hukara barararari rabara rarararara karabara sondororori andre hukara barararara karabara rarari rabara rarara karabara shandara barari rabara rarari andre hukara barararari rabara rarara karabara rarari rabara shandara barari rabara rarara yes yes hallelujah Oh, our spirit man, praise unto him. We worship him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, God, I'm not going to die. 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 Holy, holy, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Oh, God, I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die. I'm not going to die. Hallelujah hallelujah oh thank you lord thank you let us just look to him and say god this evening we receive your forgiveness we receive your mercies we receive your goodness and we know god that deep in our hearts we know deep in our hearts that you are here to bless us you are here to so that we can lean upon you we can just look at you look at your eyes and say jesus you are real you're a real god you're the one with us emmanuel hallelujah o karabara sandara barari rabara sandara oh thank you thank you thank you lord in the name of jesus amen you may be seated thank you thank you for every one of you and good to see fiona yeah, after a long time and uh, family thank you thank you glory to god jesus is good amen, amen. praise god um tonight um, we have a actually i have a very unique special message for today and uh, we're going to uh, just look at very simply how god has i won't take too long i'll just finish it because we have communion after this we want to serve you the communion for today so uh, let's look at um, this scripture um joel 225 joel 225 my children always tell me don't say joel say joel <laughs> I, i like to pronounce it joel and then they scold me they say no it's joel Okay, Joel, right? All right. Praise God. Two twenty-five. Can somebody read for me? Just one verse. Some of you don't know where Joel is in the Bible. Glory to God. I'm I'm waiting. I want somebody else to read not just me all the time. So Joel 2:25. Ah, nobody. Can hear somebody's voice. and i will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten the cankerworm and the caterpillar 
and the palmerworm thy great army my great army which i sent among you i will restore to you the years that the locust has eaten glory to god how many of you want all the years passed by to be restored to you again one more time hallelujah you see there's a desire in we people that we want to get back our lost years you know maybe in our job you know maybe in our family we say wow we lost so many years maybe in our own life personal life wow we lost so many years so much time you see and this have been eaten up eaten up here joel according to the book of joel it is the agricultural um community that's why he talks about locusts and caterpillar and all these stuff but for us you know we are not living in a um the kind of wormy world right singapore we don't have so many worms except for fiona's house <laughs> she has a lot of this uh good patch you still have them okay so those patch those uh things um to one man is a patch to another man is a patch <laughs> right so god says no matter what kind of patch has come into your life you know then you know we some people complain that person i has been a parasite in my life you know so many years it took so many years for me to understand you know people i've heard words like that they had a pass you know but god says maybe they're not maybe they're not all right we must be gracious to people loving to people forgiving to people maybe the mistake is ours not theirs so we know that but then we we do say we do believe like God says here I will restore to you I will give it back to you the years now we, we you know when we look at it one way how is God going to restore our years I don't see anybody experiencing such thing you can say is it literal literally that God will re- you know literally he will replace the years or is it just just telling us that I will bless you very generically let me tell you no let me t- today tell you that god can when god says i will restore to you the years i believe he means it he means it literally why because there are examples in the word of god in the bible where people have been restored um for example i mean the same examples you know you and i know abraham when he was old he thought that um, he is not going to have that joy of a father the joy of a father is was not there for him that's what he thought his wife also thought similarly nothing but then god restored to him he in fact his body reversed his wife's body reversed they got back their youth so that they can have children how is that so you see that's why the word of god get has a lot of hidden wisdom for us hidden i won't say it's a secret it's not a secret god is not making it a secret but it is hidden can you say hidden, hidden. there's a difference between hidden and secret it's hidden so that you can find it see hide and seek we play right it's not so that the children can hide forever they hide so that you can find them Amen. right likewise god's wisdom is hidden so that you can find it it's not a secret forever it's secret for a while only that's why i don't like to use the word secret it's hidden so that you can seek and find and that for i am telling you today brothers and sisters that in the name of jesus christ tonight is a prophetic kind of a night i am going to release this whole thing to you everything to you regarding this so that you can have a restoration in your life and i want you to 
work this out tonight pray and believe that's what i mean by work out so that you can actually experience something awesome and it's not going to be okay i'm hearing a encouraging word to my soul that's good enough no 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 i want you to experience it experience it not just hear it not just linger around it but get into it and experience it because it's a promise to you can you turn to somebody and say god's promise is to you he will restore your yes hallelujah 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 don't don't that's why of all people in this world we people don't have to have regrets in life amen you don't have to have a regret in your life right of course you made mistakes but you don't have to keep regretting it some people they regret every minute every time even they go to ntuc they buy back they say ayya why did i buy this they haven't even reached the home <laughs> they already regretting ayya i should have bought the other one you know i should have bought the other fruit or whatever you know some people they go to the supermarket or even shopping center and they regret so many things after they buy singaporeans have a lot of that you know buyers remorse they call it they buy and then they're not sure whether they should have bought it that's not for you and me uh in terms of life of course <coughs> in terms of supermarket that's a different thing small thing doesn't matter but in terms of life you don't have to keep regretting hallelujah and kicking yourself i should have done this i should have done that that's why another word that we all know a religious word has been given to us is called anybody knows repent right you think that you have done something really bad repent and get out of it amen amen yeah. hallelujah so you don't let in regret let in re, re, uh, you know uh, the past things into your life all the time now let's move on here so god says he will restore now what is restoration he say restore you know that means they had been given those things before but then they wasted it they misused it that's what restore means now you can see that in the bible in the prodigal son story the prodigal son wasted right nowadays we use that word a lot right you are a waste you are a wasteful person you are a waste you are wasting my time your time everybody's time that prodigal son wasted his time his money his father's money and he also wasted the father's time the father had to wait and wait and wait right and the father had to suffer also maybe i could have done something differently to my son you know he is wasting his time thinking these things when will my son come back so the son not only wasted his own time he wasted the father's time right and also he wasted the elder brother's time because the elder brother stand outside and say why this is this fellow come back <laughs> huh? i've been wasting my time in the fields working hard and this guy who wasted my father's time property everything money and then now he comes he gets a grand welcome as though nothing happened as though nothing happened wow see a lot of uh, time wastage that's why this word become very beautiful to us that you know so, sometimes i was thinking you know oh should i have, have gone to science stream or art stream <laughs> maybe i should have gone into take this course not that course maybe i should have gone into this job not the other one so many the regrets let's come back to the point yes you you could have that one is quite innocent la, you know everybody does it but the prodigal son son story is different right it's more severe 
severe misuse of money and time. You know that, I know that. But then, there's something about God. Hallelujah. There's something about God that can re-give the time to us. Amen. And you can't find that in anybody. You can't find that in anybody in this world who can give you back your time. Your years. Right? Somebody can promise to you, I'll give you back everything you didn't have. Right? But sometimes it, it doesn't, people don't fulfill their promises. So nobody can give you back your time. But God can give you back your time. Hallelujah. There's something about God. I'm going to tell you what it is about God that gives you back your years. Okay, and I want you to absorb that. So tonight, we're going to pray after the communion for every one of you to have a restoration of your years. For us, the worm is the devil. Right? Sin, sickness, death, the devil has stolen things from us. Stolen our goods. Stolen our lives, our years, our times. And God says, I'm going to restore you the productive years. Every one of it. And we're going to pray for that for every one of you before we uh, dismiss you for today after the communion. We going to, and how many of you are going to willingly receive it? Yeah. You believe it, it's yours. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. How many of you want a restoration? Yeah. Yes. You know, I, I'm, I'm keying in on two things, right? The last few weeks, you notice, keying in on the, the God kind of wisdom and um, faithfulness. Faithfulness, I told you last few weeks, is that you are being true to the word of God. That's being faithful to God. Trusting the word of God, the promises of God in all circumstances. In all conditions, you are faithful to God's word. That's what faith is. I told you. Faith and faithfulness are related. Very related. I told you all the last few weeks. Likewise, when you have, you are faithful to this word and say, God will restore to me all is lost. I believe it. I am faithful to this promise. Amen. Amen. You know what being faithful to this promise means? No matter what the devil tells you, you are saying, no. He will restore to me. I will get it back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The seed that you sow will multiply. Amen. The seed got no choice. Because the word of God is so powerful, the word of God will go and make sure the seed multiplies. Amen. The promise of God is so powerful, when you are faithful to it, it will be faithful to you. Can you tell me this promise from God? These words are faithful to me. Yes, heaven and earth will, will go away, but not his words. So his words are faithful to you. But are you faithful that you believe it? You can say, why is God so concerned that I'm blessed? Why is God so concerned that my years multiply? Because his nature is so good, he wants you to come back to his blessings. Amen. Amen. And enjoy his blessings. Hallelujah. How many of you are ready to enjoy his blessings? Amen. Hallelujah. How many of you already enjoyed a little bit? There's more for you. Hallelujah. There is more for you, brother and sister. That's why I've been telling you. Another thing that I've been emphasizing in the last few weeks is that in a, when you... Uh, we're talking about family, right? In a family, when you believe God... God will change the other person. I've been talking about it a long time. 
Look at Noah. Noah believed God, faithful to God. He brought them into the ark and saved the whole family. He changed the life of all these people in his family. Can I have a amen? Amen. amen? amen. Noah changed the lives of people, his own family. What about their Amen. amen? is that we are not faithful to the promises of God. God wants us to rise up and be faithful to the promise that you believe it no matter what the devil tells you, no matter what doubt comes into you, no matter what fear comes into you, no matter middle of the night you receive a call, that doesn't matter. Stay faithful to the word of God. That it will come to pass. My children will be taught of the Lord. Amen. You know what's going to happen? they will be back. They will serve God. You speak like Joshua. As far as, you know, as far as it concerns me, me and my household will serve the Lord. Hallelujah. How many of you know there is a beautiful thing to serve the Lord? I've been serving the Lord for so many years. I've never regretted. Hallelujah. I never regretted uh, why I came into the full time. No. Hallelujah. There were times when I puzzled. There were times when I ministry of suffering. I suffered. Because suffering and ministry. But none of the time I look back and say, why did God call me? Why did God call me? I didn't complain to him like that at all. But you... For you, you don't have to complain and regret. You can come to God and say, God, your word says you will restore everything. Yes. In fact, you can restore more than what you lost. You can restore seven times. Hallelujah. 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 I give you one more example. The grandson of Abraham, Jacob. He went and worked for seven plus seven years. You know the story. I don't want to go into the story. Fourteen years. He was working under Laban, his uncle. And then Laban was a bad boss. Horrible boss. You tell me, some of you tell me, my boss is terrible, Pastor. You should meet Laban, Mr. Laban. Right? How terrible that man is. Right? He keep decreasing the wage, you know. Instead of increasing the wage, he de keep decreasing the wage for his own son-in-law some more. Because he didn't see the son-in-law as son-in-law. He saw the son-in-law as what? Huh? All correct? I give you another word. He saw the son-in-law as money. Right? This man is money. He makes money for me. I will not give him money. So he doesn't see him as son-in-law. For him it's money. Money, 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 money. Every day. That's all. Some of you can say, yeah, pastor, I can see one bloke in my house like that also. <laughs> money, 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 money. But Jacob, right, when he left the whole thing, after 14 and then a few more years, he left. Do you know when he left, God paid him back everything. I don't want to go into the story today, another time, but in short. He, Jacob went back, went away from his uncle with lots of goods, lots of money, riches, cattle, everything. Amen. God made sure this Jacob doesn't get cheated by his own uncle. Amen. It took time. It took time, yes, but he came back. Everything he lost. Amen. 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 You know, some people come to me and say, Pastor, my inheritance is in trouble. Why? My siblings are giving me problem on this. There are one or two cases that came to me recently. So I told them very simple. You trust God. You are not greedy. You are not trying to get their money. But you having trying to having your own, your own, what belongs to you, right? You be gracious. 
how? Tell the Lord, Lord, I'm going to not fight, quarrel, sleepless nights. No. You are the one who's going to give me my inheritance. I'm trusting in God, not in man. But I trust in a way that I believe that God will restore to me everything. You don't have to give up your inheritance. It's yours, right? Unless you voluntarily want to do, that's different. But you don't, get be, you don't have to be cheated of your inheritance. You see? So that's what I'm, I'm now counseling to two people like that. Say, don't worry. Because I know God will restore. Jacob's things came back to him. The, the, the thing that you sow unto the Lord, the thing that you is yours, will come back if you trust God. Amen. That's what this means. I will restore to you your years. I will give it back. Oh, there's something in God. I'm coming to that now. More deeper part. Let's turn to Ephesians chapter 2. Glory to Jesus. Somebody might ask, Pastor, I get all these back and then what do I do? It doesn't matter. Give it away unto the Lord. <laughs> all right? If it's in the, your, the riches are in the unrighteous, what are you going to do? Might as well be yours in the hands of the righteous. So you know what to do with it. You sow, you get back, you give to the Lord. Now, let's move on to Ephesians chapter 2 and verse 10. For we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus unto good works which God has before ordained that we should walk in them. Can you repeat after me? I was created in Christ Jesus. I was created in Christ Jesus. Okay. We're going to explore this. What, what does this mean? And what has this got to do with time? The years we lost. The past. Okay, now I'm going to more deeper part of what I wanted to share tonight. Your past can be changed in the present. Your past is there, yes. You were created in this world. You're part of this creation. You came from your father and mother. You went through some experience in life. But then you went through some hard knocks, some problems, some issues. But then the word of God here says, it speaks to us a different way. How does it tell, what does it tell you? He says, you were created in Christ Jesus. It doesn't say recreated, no. You know, on other places, yes. We are new creation. True. But here, it says you are created in Christ Jesus. Created in Christ Jesus. What does that mean? Who is Christ Jesus? The incarnation of God. The very word, the name, very name, Jesus Christ, what does it mean? It's not even say Christ, it says Jesus Christ. You were created. In the same Jesus who was born of a woman, the God who had a mother, the God who moved like us in this world, who had our like a body, the God who died so that he can defeat death, the God who rose again, that God, Jesus Christ, you were created in him. Amen. Hallelujah. You were made and formed and became who you are. Whatever, you know, you, your name is. In Christ Jesus. In the Son of God, in the only begotten Son of God, you were created. Ah, now, now I'm opening up more and more. Your eyes, spiritual eyes should be amazed. 
I was created in, I thought, okay, I was born in KK. Or born in any which. Correct. And, and now I came into this world. But after a long time, you became born again. And the word of God now tells you, you were created in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 You were born in Christ Jesus, created in Christ Jesus. You came out in Christ Jesus. Amen. I thought I came out from my mother. It says, you came out from Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. What does that mean? You came out from Christ Jesus means that Christ Jesus only came 2,000 years back. But God created all things when? You know, before that. Right? And that first creation moved on and on and on and on and, and then one day you were born. Okay? Of the first creation. Correct? Okay, you got that. One day, you know, uh, things move and then you're born. In 20, I mean, I don't know when you're born, you're born. Okay. So God created you when you're born, right? Created in your mother's womb. And then you're born. But, you still don't know Christ. So you don't know you are created in Christ Jesus yet. Then one day, you are God born again. You believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. He died for you, rose again. He's the son of God. He's the way, the truth, and the life. People speak to you the gospel. You go to church. You got born again now. Now, the scriptures come and tell you, you are created in Christ Jesus. Amen. I want you to, you are created in Christ Jesus. No, no, no. I'm created in my mother's womb. Are born. No, the scripture says, yes, but you are created in Christ Jesus. But you didn't know it for so many years. For so many years, you thought, you're born, things are moving, you're moving towards your death. Every one of us are moving towards death. Finally. That's what life is here, in this world. But no, the scriptures comes and tell you, you are created in Christ Jesus. So, what does it mean? That means, on the cross, on the resurrection, on the ascension, you were being created in Christ. Amen. In whatever that Christ did, you are being created. You were being created on the cross. Amen. So now, the scriptures come and tell you, okay, yeah, you're born of your mother, your father. But now, you're born of Christ. You're created in Christ. Christ becomes your father and your mother. Amen. He, he gave birth to you. How? Through the cross. Spiritually, we are talking spiritually. Through the cross and the resurrection and the ascension and the word of God coming to you. To all this, you are created now in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Okay. Not enough. Not enough. Wait. Still not enough. I haven't given to you enough things. Okay. Now the scripture tells you you are created in Christ Jesus. You are part of the body of Christ. You are part of Christ. He's the head, you are the tail. Tail. <laughs> He's the head, you are the body, right? You're not a mermaid. Christ is not a mermaid. <laughs> you are the body. Okay. You are the body. You are the body. How did... So, does it stop at the cross? No. Let me tell you. If, let's say, you died without Christ. You're just born. You didn't know why you were born. You move on, like your friends who do know Christ. And they pass through life. They die. Mm. Okay? We, we don't talk about life after that. Just boom. Gone. The 
the past for this people cannot change you understand the past doesn't change they don't know, they won't know they are created in Christ Jesus they won't know any of these stuff it's not about knowing they can't even enjoy it they can't experience it it's not about the teaching it's about life they can't have that life they can't but then look at you now you are born of Christ uh, sorry born of your parents you go through the same thing as your friends do but then you get born again now the scriptures come and tell you look you were chosen from the foundation of the world that means the way you look at your past now changes are, are you following now you look at your past the scriptures tell you is a different past the past has changed like imagine you didn't believe Christ and die the past never changed only in god that's why i'm telling there's something about god something about christ jesus that changes your past hallelujah amen amen, amen. amen. when you stare at it it's shocking you mean i could have just been born and then die and perish and my past won't change but the moment i know that christ jesus died on the cross rose again through the cross my creation purpose change my past changes hallelujah that's why time changes we can see in god's creation time is a created thing time is something god created like space you see all those science fiction movies you know that where did they get all these ideas from they got it from the word without understanding it they just make it into some stories but you and i can use it can manifest it can you see i am a manifestation of god's word i can become what god's word tells me i can become hallelujah i want you to believe that amen in other words brother and sister i'm going to tell you another shocking thing in other words the you were created in Christ Jesus and Jesus Christ is the one who forgives you restore your years you can repent and change your past hallelujah only in Jesus Christ you can do that because he himself does that to me he does that to you scripture suddenly come and tell you i know you are born in kk in any way this this is you were chosen before the foundation of the world and christ was crucified from the beginning is a lamb slain from the foundation of the world christ jesus amen, amen. so it's in god you were in god i was in god amen, amen. the cross changes our past The cross makes us look at past differently now. Amen. That's why you can say I'm a born again new believer. I can look at the past, I can change it in Jesus name. Amen. I I want to repeat this one more time please. Give me allowance to repeat it because it's so beautiful. You see that means you walk 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 in your life, you are born and then at this stage you get and then if you die your past is stuck nothing changes if you die off without knowing christ but the moment you stop and you believe in god believe what he has done that means the cross you look at the cross and then you believe in him you you have faith in him and then the scripture now intervenes in your life and tells you your past is changed it's not this it's not that way that you look at the past all these years your past is nothing i chose you before the foundation of the world to become like this amen amen i want you to get this that means now you can look back at your past whoever bullied you whoever abused you whoever 
spat on you, whoever didn't like you, it doesn't matter to you anymore already. Hallelujah. You are changing your past. Amen. You are abused uh, morally, sexually, physically, whatever. It doesn't matter anymore because you are created in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your father left you. Your mother didn't take care of you. Your siblings were bullying you. Your, your, your husband didn't like you. Your wife didn't like you. Your children neglected you. All these things can be changed. Now you are created in Christ Jesus. Amen. This is nothing. That is how we look at our life now. Amen. We are not stuck with the past. We are unglued from the past. Unglued. Hallelujah. Now we look back and with Christ Jesus our Lord, I say in the name of Jesus, I cancel this. In the name of Jesus, I cancel that. Amen. In fact, the moment you took your water baptism, your ancestral sins are cleansed. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The blood of Christ cleanses you. But then why, pastor, sometimes we have to pray for this kind of thing? It's because they don't believe it. Like, that's a problem. They don't understand it, believe it. But the moment we give them an understanding, a revelation, they, they are open. They are clear now. They will forgive their worst enemies. Amen. They will forgive their worst enemies. They even, you see, I, I went to uh, Canada once and this family, both are sisters. They, their parents, their, their former background was Fiji Island. They come from Fiji Island. And um, both of them came to see me. They said, Pastor, we need help. She said, many years ago, 20, I mean 14 years ago or something, a man kill our mother. He just came to a house. He's a relative in Fiji Island, not Singapore. Huh? Fiji Island. And he was so angry with my mother, he took out a knife and killed her and went off. Until today, he's not punished. Because he's rich, he bribed everybody, the police, everybody around. He never got caught. He's having a wonderful life. He's so rich. Look at us. He's struggling. It, you know, all these they were telling me. We are not happy. Our lives are not so good. I look at them and said, it's because you hold the past. I know your, your mom went to the Lord. Right? But then, have the courage to change your past. To throw away those things from your heart and your mind. You can't bring back your mother. Your mother is with the Lord. But you can do something to your heart which is full of hatred and anger and disappointment. How? Forgiving them. Wow, cannot, Pastor, cannot. We don't know how to do it. So I prayed for them for a while. Do you know both of them was rolling on the floor The things coming out from them. Right? They were being delivered. I didn't expect to that extent. Right? That means the spirit of hatred, the spirit of murder is on them. Murder is hatred also. Hatred is murder also. They hated that man. Of course, you see, so much. They begin to like question God, hate God also. But that night, because they forgive, they were delivered, both of them. Demons came out of their body and they were set free. Hallelujah. I am the testimony. I am the testimony. All this happened right in front of my eyes. So, God showed me how powerful forgiveness is. Amen. He will liberate you, He will change you, He will make you a new person. You can change your past by forgiving. Amen. First I said, believing God's promise, you change your past. Secondly, by knowing that you are created in Christ Jesus, I'm going to touch one more thing on that soon, before we pray. One more thing is so important there, I'll come back. But let me finish. The third thing is forgiveness. You 
when you forgive a person and the person knows it, he has something will change in him. Amen. Something will change in him. He might not show it. She might not show it. But deep down, something is being changed. Because you forgive him. Forgive him. Forgiveness is so powerful. It's one of the most powerful spiritual weapon you have. Even against your enemy. When he slaps you, you give him the other cheek, the guy will melt down. Maybe not soon, a bit later at least. Amen. Amen. I see you, the hot stuff, you're not saying amen. <laughs> All the light stuff you will say. What about this hot stuff? Forgiveness. Amen. amen. Pastor, how to do it? Like how I dealt with this person, these two sisters. I dealt with them by being very specific. Christ died on the cross for our death, right? To cancel our death, to destroy our death, right? How did he do it? Is death just a concept? No. Death, the death that Jesus died is our death, personal, our death, my death, your death. Please understand that. You know, we, we preach, huh? uh, Jesus died to destroy death. Then we think death is like a concept like something. No, no, no. Death means what we're supposed to go through. All the sum of mankind's death, Jesus took it to destroy it. Can, do you understand that? Let me repeat that again. All of mankind's personal death, for individual death, I call it. It's not a concept. It's the individual death of everybody in the world. Jesus took it and boom, destroyed it. Amen. And rose again. Your death, my death conquered. No wonder the gospel is so good to us. I mean, we are happy with the gospel. Amen. My death, man, he took it and destroyed it, man. Hallelujah. 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 That is the gospel. People don't understand. He died there. He, you know, he, he, uh, he died for sins. They make it very concept. No, it's not concept. It's your death and my death. He dealt with. Like a doctor dealing with a disease, specific disease. He dealt with our disease, our sickness, our, our death, and destroyed it. Killed it by dying on the cross. Hallelujah. It's like, you know, Give me everybody's death. I'll take it. When everything has come, he kills it by dying. He's on him now. He dies. So the devil didn't know what to do after that. Because even death is conquered. He comes back alive. So let, let's come back. I'm finishing here. I say I'll come back on created Christ Jesus. Then we'll take the communion. Created in Christ Jesus is a time concept. It's like, a bit like science fiction. Because, this thing, the cross, let's say Jesus came into the world. He didn't die on the cross. See? It's the cross that made people understand the one who died is the one who created. The one who died is God. Amen. The one who died is God Almighty. But if he didn't go to the cross, he just born of Virgin Mary and moved on and on, moved on and on. That's it. But the cross showed that he's the creator. Are you following? It's not just creation, no. The cross that reveals the creator to us. One. Pastor, this is very theological. Very good. <laughs> we need to learn. Number two. It's a time concept. Because we are created in Christ Jesus 2,000 years back. But Christ Jesus is God. 
That means it's beyond time. Beyond time. That means it's not limited to 2,000 years back. That's why he can save us now through the cross. What he did. Amen. So now that he saves us through himself on the cross and the resurrection, the cross is, let me tell you, the cross is no more just 2,000 years back. It's God who died. God has no time. Sorry. God got no time. You and I got time. Christ Jesus don't have time. He's the transcendental God. He's beyond. So when now we are created in Christ Jesus, I can touch my beginning. Before the foundation of the world, I can talk to God. I can... So there's something in God can change our past. Okay, let me put it practically meaning before I close. What I mean is, if you have done things in the past or something happened to you in your past, you are the only one in this world as a believer who understands that you can, in Christ, change it. Amen. Change it so that now, in the present, you don't have any effect of it. No effect. No effect. Can you turn to somebody and say, no effect for you? No effect. Amen. You have such capability. That's what I'm trying to say. You, that's the good works. Good works that you can do. One of it is this. You can go back in time and change it. That's all right in the presence of God. I'll touch on these things again and again and again through the week so that we can learn more. Let's put up our hands and worship God and bring in the communion for the glory of God. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. What a powerful gospel. What a powerful Christ. It's God. Glory to God. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Just like I said, it's a mystery. So this communion is now being unveiled. Scriptures are unveiled in acts of glory. Oh, yes. Lord Jesus. Yes, this is the bread that changes into the body of Christ. This is the wine that changes into the blood of Christ now. Hallelujah. The mystery of God revealed. Glory to Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus. We are talking about this communion. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, okay, thank you. Now you can have it. Thank you. Oh, Jesus. We, I want to tie in what we heard today with this communion. Hallelujah. Yes, we have a song. Praise God. Yes. Just meditate on some of these things I've said to you. Tonight you can be released from your past. You can walk into time and forgive people and set yourself free from any bondage to anybody in this world now or, or in the past. I don't care how many years ago it happened. You can receive forgiveness for that. Glory to God. And then you can look at your past and say, change. God changes. God changes my past. Now he looks at me in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. For me, good works in Christ Jesus. For we are recreated. Actually, this that means before the foundation of the world,
before the foundation of the world there was wisdom and wisdom was uh, at the right hand of god and that wisdom is christ jesus and god created all things to christ jesus now we know that when we are born we are born in christ jesus now we look at our past we say all these things are in christ jesus taken care of wow ha ah, what a relief <laughs> ah, you don't have to carry any burden any more in your life you don't have to wonder why was i born to such a parent why i was born with such siblings why i was i born with such people around me why was i went into this job you don't have to wonder because you are the cross becomes the new creating power of god you're created in Christ Jesus before the foundation of the world time is banned now to bring us even to the beginning because we are in Christ Jesus God time is banned now that we can go to the cross and say this is now this happening now hallelujah Yes the cross is happening now because cross is never in the past cross is the present all the time the cross is the present we experience jesus today today is the day of salvation jesus didn't die on the cross in the past Jesus dies on the cross now because today is the day of salvation my brothers and sisters we're going to sing this song as before we take this communion yes let us come to the table of mercy let us prepare with the wine and the bread all who are hungry and thirsty come and your souls will be fed come to the table of mercy say yes lord bread wine and the bread oh ah oh ah hungry as they come and your souls will be fed come at the lord's invitation we say from his name scar Receive from his lips God hand Eat of the bread of salvation Drink of the blood of the lamb Come and the Lord's invitation Receive from his lips God hand Jesus took the bread and said This is my body it is the body of Christ and the blood of Christ That's why we sang this song And then this is my body this is Christ his body We are created in Christ as a divine thing in your life you are created to become the body of Christ You're created in Christ Jesus. Glory to God. I can sense the anointing flowing through my whole body now. I believe the anointing is going through your whole body now. And God saying, your body is my temple. Your body is holy, your body is pure. Your body is healed. 
because i took everything on the cross death became nullified and we can then tell the devil you run away with your condemnation tonight you can't condemn anything anymore i'm created in christ jesus <laughs> and the devil runs away and tell sickness and disease in the name of jesus i rebuke you get away in the name of jesus and have no place in your body no place in your life you are created in christ jesus christ jesus does not have pain in his body he conquered pain hallelujah it's a now event now salvation is not yesterday is not in the future now you can experience the cross give your life to jesus today give your life to jesus tonight because jesus says there's no tomorrow forget about time like that time is now eternity is now now you give your life again to jesus now you are supreme as your lord and savior now you now you worship him now you receive your miracles now 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 today today your prayers are answered because christ is revealed to you wow praise the lord worship him let's take part of the communion together in the same manner jesus took the cup and said this is my blood let's take part of the blood of christ you can pass the cups to the ashes now i'm going to pray and prophesy over people please to come thank you Hallelujah. You can be seated or standing up to you. Focus on the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh Santa Rabada di da bada sondoro di andro. The anointing of God is still here. Yes. So I'm going to pray for everybody here and those on the YouTube now watching or later watching. Doesn't matter. You are one in the body of Christ. there is no male or female there is no jew or greek all are the same before christ they are one in the body of christ so today no matter where you are i release hallelujah a touch of blessing to you right now those watching of jesus right now you change the past hallelujah How many of you want to change something in your past tonight? Amen. Now you want to be prophetic. Hallelujah. So I command those causes of that pain in these people's life from the past. I pray for healing now in the past. Whatever caused it, whatever started it off, I change it, I reverse it. Every abuse, I reverse it in Jesus' name. Every pain in the past, I command it to be gone, heal. everything that is a wrong decision in life i command that wrong decision to be reversed now that these people will meet new opportunities again one more time that right now put up your hands i want you to command your past to change in the name of jesus on the cross hallelujah yes give it to the cross give it to the cross the cross is a time changer Hallelujah rabararare ida bara santara how kara barararare ida bara rara kara the cross has to do with the time because Jesus oh died 2000 years ago but is working now is working forever hallelujah time changes old testament saints got saved through the cross the cross is a time changer 
Hallelujah. Santa Rabara Dida Bara Rakarabara. O Karabara Rarida Bara Santa Rabara. All those years lost. Oh, I want you to receive now. In the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you. In the name of Jesus. All those things lost. I receive it in Jesus' name. Oh, Karabara Rarara. I return it to these people right now. Devil, I remove your hands from them. In the name of Jesus, those dirty hands of the devil, I bind it, I destroy it, I cast it away. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Those who have been abused right now, receive your healing. Receive the touch of the cross. Hallelujah. Remove, remove, remove it, remove it, hallelujah. Every pain, every abuse, every oh, child abuse, everything from the past, I command it to disappear from your memory. From your memories. Everything of the past that is not good, let it leave your memories now. Give it to the Lord, give it to the Lord. Forgive that person. Forgive that woman. Forgive that woman who to you was like a witch. Forgive her. Forgive her. Hallelujah. She's created by God. Forgive her. Your job is to forgive. The cross changes things. You're created in Christ Jesus. Now you can become a superman, superwoman and forgive people. Now you become like a superman and a superwoman healing your body. A lot of Christians don't know how to heal their bodies. Get up and heal your bodies. Save the Lord. Hallelujah. You are created in Christ Jesus. I will reverse the curse. Every curse can become a blessing, save the Lord. To the cross. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, every regret, take it away from their hearts. Why did this thing happen in my life? Why did that thing happen in your life? Oh, remove that. Oh, worry. Remove that regret in the name of Jesus. Whatever happened has happened. That's it. Hallelujah. Move on. Hallelujah. Forgive them. Forgive them. Your bars tonight. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Yes, 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 yes. I pray for miracles. I pray for supernatural miracles in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, somebody is saying, I don't know what, why thinking about the past, I don't know, thinking about the past, I don't know why this thing happened. Oh, yes. Tonight God is telling you, brother, sister, no matter why it happened, you can overcome it now. It works by changing the past. Everything is changed. Every abuse is changed. Every fear is changed. Every worry is changed. Hallelujah. Every grumbling spirit, get out. Hallelujah. A lot of things are leaving you tonight. Hallelujah. That you are no more going to be a grumbler. Hallelujah. You are no more going to be a complainer. Hallelujah. Because you can create all things new in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So what's there to grumble? What's there to worry? You can create a new things. Hallelujah. Can you all rise up in the presence of God? Let me repeat after me. I can do all things to Christ who strengthens me now. I am created in Christ Jesus. I change the past. I command good works because I'm created in Christ Jesus. My past is changing now. It's being cleansed now. I have new things from God now. All my years lost is replaced now. Restored now. I'm expecting now. Now onwards. 
I'm going to see miracles. I'm going to see angels. I'm going to see angels coming into my life. I'm going to see victory after victory. I'm born for victory. I'm not born for defeat. I'm born for victory. I'm born for success. I'm with God. He has something for my life, which is making me into his child. I'm excited because today onwards, my past is gone. Therefore, I command the future. I command miracles. I command upliftings. I command prosperity. I command health. I command good friends. I command good things in my family. Blessed things in my family. I command a remaking of myself in Christ Jesus. God Almighty is remaking me in Christ Jesus. My career is continuing. I'm being made again by God Almighty. I'm excited about it. I'm excited about the future. I'm excited about the glory to come. I'm working the way. Ephesians chapter 2, chapter 10 says, I work because I'm created in Christ Jesus. I'm created in Christ Jesus. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. <laughs> Hallelujah. There's only victory for us. Amen? Amen. We can come to the front, those who need prayers. So uh, I finish this service with your blessings. Uh, Father God, I pray that the God of all truth, all love, all goodness will follow these people. Angels will be with them throughout the coming week that they will have abundance of prosperity, abundance of good sleep, restfulness, the power of God on them. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you. I still want to meet you in the front to pray for you. Thank you. That's, um, let me prophesy over some people. Come, that brother. Uh, uh, come. come. Hallelujah. Now you don't have to go. You can be here and we still can pray for you. Uh, glory. God is telling you. Tonight prophecy is for you. The Lord is telling you. Hallelujah. The Lord is telling you that you don't have to look at yourself in a smaller way but look at yourself in a greater way from today. The Lord is telling you that's your issue actually. You look at yourself actually. You look at yourself in a smaller manner. But the Lord is saying no. And I see a lot of damages in your life in the past. Uh, knocks, a lot of knocks here and there. So that your soul is like knocked up everywhere. Out of shape. But tonight God is healing you, your mind, your soul, and supernatural things are going to happen as you practice what I teach today. And the Lord is telling you the crooked ways before you are going to be straightened up. Because you are seeing the future very crooked, nothing clear. But today the Lord is telling you God is going to straighten the crooked ways. He's going to help you. In fact, you can walk through the crooked ways and be successful. But because you're finding it difficult, the Lord is going to come and help you. Like Peter, he couldn't walk in the water anymore. The Lord Actually, Peter can walk. But, yeah. So, Jesus came and you are facing the same thing. There are crooked ways before you, but actually you can walk and be successful. You are cannot. You're saying cannot. So the Lord is coming and making you walk. 
and make the crooked way straight for you and come back uh, don't limp don't limp walk straight uh, walk straight proper walk and come back yes from today the lord is change come the lord is changing your concept you are no more a smaller version you are a greater person i call you to be a greater person say the lord and you you cast it down you walk on it hallelujah i come on healing to your legs now be healed in jesus name be strengthened in the name of jesus be strengthened in the name of hallelujah be strengthened in the name of jesus thank you lord be healed in the name of jesus hallelujah what's his name thomas yeah hallelujah god is strengthening you thomas god is strengthening your legs thomas be healed be healed legs be healed be strong you are great or ever confused mind in the name of jesus i rebuke that confusion get out i release clarity in his mind hallelujah hallelujah yes let there be joy right ha huh? jesus name amen amen pastor your name paul paul okay okay i remember i remember quite some time ha huh? uh, oh, very good very good praise god praise god this um, you know this last sunday i was praying for a brother prophesying for a brother he had um, you know he 7 years back he had a job issue so he chose the wrong kind of thing so that you know he couldn't come to church for 7 years that's pretty wrong right so he chose the wrong thing but now on again one now you come just recently um seven years like off and on la he go to his church i'm not regular so this few weeks he comes back and when he came back to church then only after he come back come back to church he got an offer in his working place he can see got a work you know that they kind of think they tell you from the start that means it's going to be like that he won't change so when i was prophesying over him i told him which one you want you see the same issue come back in your life one more time one more time because you didn't choose the right thing two bosses and told them i will not go to this department because they don't allow me to go to church on sunday they look at me very shocked because that is actually you know a higher kind of job but the other boss like him also he say i'm happy to have you back took him back now he says very happy you can come to church I said don't worry God will give you all the money you need in time to come. <laughs> Hallelujah. Don't don't put away a church for money. And God will give you back a hundredfold. So pastor from Philippines come you want to pray. Hallelujah. You do a prayer for us. Hallelujah. Ah. Uh, okay. Uh just one minute, huh? Before I hand over to you. one minute thank you anybody who needs prayer a prophetic prayer or something come how's the pain in your body hallelujah that's wonderful i've been sharing that testimony to people right that your pain was gone completely ओम जरा बर सांदर बर दी अंदरे ओ कर बर र र दी र बर सांदर बर ओ कर बर र र दी र बर सांद ओ यस 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 सिस्टर राइट नाउ बाय द पावर ऑफ द होली स्पिरिट ओ खाना माना र र दी र बर र र कर बर सांदर ओ कर बर र र दी र बर र र कर बर र दी र बर र ओ र र बर र र कर बर यू नो देयर लॉट ऑफ एंटेंगलमेंट्स अराउंड यू एंटेंगलमेंट्स and the lord is now breaking it breaking all those unnecessary things entangling you in the name of jesus 
I set her free. I set her free from those entanglements. Make her a free person. Free in her body, soul and spirit. And I command her brain to remove pain in the nerves. Gone completely. I want you to use your brain, sister. Overcome the pain now. Even if it's a little bit, overcome it. Don't allow it to linger. Yes, yes. Last time I taught you how to do it. One more time. One more time. Every pain in anybody's body can be overcome. Just allow your brain not to become sloppy, but the brain become active to overcome it. In the name of Jesus. How? Oh, release right now. Release in the name of Jesus. Release in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. Lord, I pray for her job that is coming. In the name of Jesus, a new job that you give going to give her. Oh yes, I'm hearing these words from the Lord. The new job will bring you multiples, multiples of blessings. It will multiply. It will multiply. I don't know how, but I can see that it's a, it's a doorway to multiple blessings. Multiple. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Dip, that thing, when you get into it, is going to click in so many different ways. So many different ways. Hallelujah. You never thought it was going to be like that. It's going to change your outlook of life. It's going to change your thinking. It's going to transform you. Hallelujah. And I see people respecting you. God is going to restore your respect. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Lord says, but as you, God restores the respect, you're going to melt also. You, you're not going to be um, like before, but you're going to, be, you're going to melt like chocolate in the hands of God. Hallelujah. In, in the hands of God. Now, in the name of Jesus, I release your blessings. I release it to you. Change your past. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay. Anybody else? Okay, we'll pray later then. We'll close the service. I ask pastor to come and close us in prayer. Thank you. Yes, oh Lord, um, can we come in prayer and humble our heart before the Lord? Father, we come to you this evening and we humble our heart before you. You know our prayers this evening, Father. Father, we come to you that any struggle that we encounter in our life, we're the God who give us, hallelujah, strength, O oh Lord, to continue to follow you despite of the situations that we have. Father, we pray for every one of us that as we set apart in this church, Father, give us strength to walk in your word and not only to hear it this evening. Father, you remind us tonight that we are in Christ and our life was changed by God. Even though we don't have power to change our own life, it is your word. And it's you, Jesus, has the power to change our life. Father, I pray for the peace and I pray for the continuous healing in every one of us, O oh Lord, tonight in the name of Jesus. Even I pray for our pastor who preached your word tonight. I pray that he will continue to preach faithfully in your word, O oh Lord. Father, you're looking for a faithful servant. Remind us this evening that you are looking for a faithful servant, O oh Lord. Lord, we know, hallelujah, that tonight, that those, uh, as we come to you in worship, and as we come to you in hearing the word of God, give us strength to follow what we hear in your word tonight and be faithful in your word. Father, we come to you. Any prayer requests that we have in our heart, even the prayer that we pray tonight, we come to you and send it to your throne and in charge the millions of angels to send it right now in the name of Jesus and cover it by the blood of Jesus that is shed in the cross of the Calvary. Father, we thank you tonight. 
we bring back all the glory, honor, and praises to you alone in the name of the Father, the Son, Jesus Christ, and through the name of the Holy Spirit we pray, can it all say to God, Amen. Can we give a clap offering to God? Glory to God. Thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless you, keep you, and protect you all the days of your life. And I see you next week. Come with people, come with groups of people, friends, relatives. Let them be blessed here. Amen. And uh, like I will prophesy for everybody who comes. You're a bit late. You can come back next week. I'll still prophesy for you. Thank you. God bless you.